you've probably heard of Kanto. Sleek app promises of easy banking, and it's all the rage among startups and small businesses. But here's the burning question, is it a bank? Like, a real bank? The kind with vaults, tellers, and that classic smell of old money? Let's dive in. Now, the world of finance is a complex beast. There are banks, credit unions, and then there's this new breed of financial institutions. Kanto falls somewhere in the middle. It's what we call a payment institution. Fancy term, right? Essentially, it's a company authorized to handle electronic money transactions. Think of it as a digital wallet with superpowers. So, what does that mean for you? Well, Kanto can do a lot of bank-like things. You can send and receive money, both domestically and internationally. You get a fancy debit card, you can manage your expenses, and even get some nifty business tools. But here's the catch. It doesn't hold your money in the same way a traditional bank does. Your money at Kanto is held in a pooled account. Imagine it like a big money pot shared by all Kanto users. Now, don't panic. Your money is safe. Kanto is regulated, and your funds are protected up to a certain amount. But it's different from having a personal account at a bank where your money is sitting in your name. Another thing to consider is the services. While Kanto offers a range of financial tools, it might not have everything a traditional bank does. Things like mortgages, loans, or investment products might be limited or non-existent. So, is Kanto a bank? Technically, no. But can it handle most of your business banking needs? Absolutely. It's a convenient, modern option for many businesses. But before you make the switch, it's essential to weigh the pros and cons, consider the size of your business, your specific needs, and how comfortable you are with the concept of a pooled account. And remember, this is a fast-evolving landscape. Regulations change, and financial institutions adapt. What's true today might not be true tomorrow. So, always do your research and stay informed. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time.